Hey everybody, this is Merrick, and we're going to take a look at how to install Lotro plugins today. Now, first off, let me say I'm not sure how they're going to do this. Uh, in beta, what we had to do is we actually had to download a zip file or a 7-zip file. So you can see right here, beta underscore Lua plugins dot 7z. That's just the 7-zip extension. You can download 7-zip. It's free. It's open source or WinZip or WinRAR might work or uh, some other popular ones. On my right here, this is actually where I have my Lord of the Rings preferences folder. So you can see here, I've got the UI folder, the music folder. Uh, this is mine, a uh, little documentation and everything. But this is where your preferences are stored. Usually it's under, um, in Windows 7, it's C, users, your uh, username, documents, and then the Lord of the Rings online. You can just search, do a search for that, or you could do a search for user preferences.ini to see where your folder is. But usually it's under, um, my documents or the documents folder. So what we had to do to install it is open the seven zip file and we take this plugins and we just extract it here to the Lord of the Rings online. So kind of like you have a music folder. If you have some ABC files installed, if you don't, then you won't have that. Uh, or the UI folder. Now you have a plugins folder. And in here you can see there's two things. Turbine plugins, that is actually some sample plugins that they had, uh, just to show you what it could do. Vitals just kind of changed your vitals, just the way they co looked cosmetically. The one bag made all your bag space look like one bag. Uh, it, that wasn't, wasn't so great, kind of was a rush, but it was, it's been expanded upon. We'll take a look at the one bag two later on. Examples was just like examples of different features you could do. Um, like check boxes, drop down menus, things like that, just to show you what was available cosmetically. And then combat sw quick slots was a three, um, I can't remember how many spaces it was, but it was what it would do is it would show um, some extra quick slots whenever you were in combat and you could put whatever you wanted in there. There are some bar mods that we'll take a look at later on in later episodes that uh, kind of expounded upon this. But actually, that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanted to install a new one, oh, actually, let me step back here. This turbine right here, that's the libraries. You have to have this. Uh, most of the libraries, or I think all the plugins are built off using these libraries. So you have to keep these here. Um, they just basically store all the APIs that all the other scripts use. So we've got two plugins here. We've got Warden Trainer, Warden Trainer Lite. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Warden Trainer Lite I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it into here. And now we have Warden Trainer Light. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, and as you can see, here's the plugin. And underneath there are all the different Lua scripts that it uses. So that's pretty much it. You just kind of take the folder and you put it in the plugins folder. And then when you get into the game, you can load it through a command prompt, or if you have one of the add-ons that opens up a plugin manager, then you can just use that to load it. That's pretty much all it is. Uh, it's very easy. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later.